All right, today I'm going to do a quick video on how to replace the keyboard in an HP Elite book. As you can see, uh, this one's missing a key, and rather than just replace the key, I'm going to go ahead and put a new keyboard in it just because I have one. Um, you're going to want to flip it over and remove the battery. And then you're going to want to locate the three keyboard screws on the bottom of uh, on the bottom here. There's one right here, one right here, and one right here. It uses a standard Phillips head screw. Just go ahead and remove it. They're a little bit tricky to get out because as you can see there are just threads on the bottom so you may need a pick or something to kind of help you out in getting it out of the bottom of the case. So once you have those three out, you can go ahead and flip it back over. And then you're going to go into, let's see where this is at, yeah. You're going to locate on the top of the keyboard, you'll see right here, 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 and here. There are these little latches. You just push them down, you can use your fingernail if you don't have a pick. And then lift up on the edge of the keyboard, and it'll just come up right like that. Okay, now be careful because most keyboards just have one connector, but these ones have two. So you'll see one right there, and then one right there. You can go ahead and just pry it up. Pull them straight out, and then get your new keyboard. Uh, this one sustained a little bit of damage in shipping, so it's a little bit bent, uh, but we'll see if I can make it work. These go in the same way they came out, just grab a hold of the little tab. Press it in, and then seat the connector back down, just like that. Okay. Okay, and then when you put it it back in, you want to put it in kind of an angle. Okay. Seat it down fully, and then lock these in. So it's giving me a little bit of trouble. down should sit level I may have to take this one out do something on this but close it back up flip it over and replace your screws that is it now when, when you see these screws you'll notice if I can get it on here that the thread 
it's only on the tip. So when you're putting it back in the casing, it may be necessary for you to kind of use your screwdriver to get it back through the plastic layer. So you screw it in a little bit and then it'll sink down in there and then you'll be able to catch it on the keyboard itself. battery back in and turn it on and test it. It'll be good to go. That's how you replace the keyboard.